Okay, in this video I'm going to use what's called the implicit function theorem to find a partial derivative, the partial of z with respect to x or the partial of z with respect to y. And you're going to use this, you know, when you have a function defined implicitly. So I'm going to use the examples that I did before, but just show you how this way um, I think might even be quite a bit quicker. Um, but either way will get you to the same place. So maybe let's find the partial of z with respect to x first. And again, it says it's going to be the negative of, I'm going to use this notation, the partial of f with respect to x over the partial of f with respect to z. But again, it says to do that, you have to have your function in the form f of x, y, z equals 0. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our original equation and set it equal to 0. Well, I could do that by subtracting sine of yz from both sides. So, all right, ta-da, now we have um, our function defined um, in this proper form. It's been set equal to 0. So again, everything that's on the left side, that's our function f. So it says all you have to do to find the partial of z with respect to x, it says there's a negative in there. It says you take the partial derivative with respect to x. Well, the derivative with respect to um, x, the derivative of x squared with respect to x would just be 2x. Th since now we'll treat y like a, uh, a constant, so that becomes 0. We'll treat z like a constant, so that also becomes 0. And since y and z are like constants, that means, well, sine of yz is a constant. So the derivative of that is also 0. So I left myself some room, but it turns out, hey, the derivative of um, the partial derivative with respect to x is simply going to be 2x. In the denominator, we have to take the partial derivative of our function with respect to z. Okay, so that means x is a constant, so um, x squared is also a constant, so the derivative of the x squared part will be 0. The derivative of the y squared part will be 0. Okay, the derivative of z squared will be 2z. And then we just have to take the derivative of the sine of yz, and we'll have to use the chain rule. So again, the derivative of sine is simply cosine. We leave the inside alone. Again, we're taking the partial derivative of the inside with respect to z, which means y is like a constant. So the derivative of the inside part will simply be y. And I'm going to pull that out front. OK, so there's one of our partial derivatives now. Um, I think if you look at the video where I did it kind of um, the way that's kind of analogous to first semester calculus, I get the same answer, but definitely it takes a lot more legwork to get there. Let's do the other one real quick as well. So suppose we want to find the partial of z with respect to y. The only thing that changes in the formula is um, the numerator. So now we're going to take the partial with respect to y. I shouldn't have erased it all. I this is another thing I want to point out. Notice the denominators are the same. So I should have really just left that down there because it doesn't change. So the only thing we really have to figure out now is the um, partial derivative with respect to y, and we'll throw that in the numerator. So again, just to fill back in the denominator, we said the partial derivative with respect to z was uh, 2z minus y cosine of yz. And if we figure out the, uh, the other part, I almost left my negative out of there. If we take the partial derivative with respect to y, well, x squared will just turn into a 0. It's a constant. The derivative of y squared will be 2y. The derivative of z squared will turn into a 0. We'll get minus cosine. We'll leave the inside part alone, yz. But now we have to take the derivative of the inside with respect to y, which means we're treating z like a constant. So the derivative of the inside part would just be z. And I'm going to write that um, in front of the cosine just to kind of keep things um, hopefully a little bit clearer. So um, not too bad. Again, I think uh, this video hasn't taken me but a few minutes. And if you look at um, the way I did it the long way, um, it definitely took a lot longer. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them. Um, hopefully someone out there can help you out. If not, hopefully I can help you out. Okay, um, good luck out there.